show I realized this looks like it says tar. You think it looks like an A? Yeah. With the sails? Or is this there? Tar. Without really knowing. I was like, oh yeah. Tar. I see tor more than tar. Okay. Anyways. T runners. T runners. T R, not T A R. Yeah, just T boat R, T runners. To which, bird. which I guess is uh, kind of referencing the, the Boston Tea Party. Maybe all the. I, I don't know. I thought from like tea shipping. That makes more sense, yeah. Shipping tea. Shipping tea by boat. But this was not shipped by boat, it came from Delta. It did come from Delta. On the. Uh, yeah. So let, and let's. And the postage was $3.19. That's not bad. All right. Uh. The box is nice. I like the design. I don't like that it's it's not equal. Is it the not? buckles are not equal. Are they not? No, they're not. And it drives me just a little mad. Oh yeah, that one's a little lower. Yeah. But that makes it look more natural. No. No. Only for okay. people who don't care. Do hey, I have the honors? Of opening it? Me? Oh, there's a... We don't have a knife. We didn't plan for this. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Just cut it here. But we don't have cutters. No, I peel. We peel. There we okay, go. Okay, so this is a box of tea. Four different teas. Four teas. Um, we thought this was a Canadian company because it was started by Jewel. What's her name? Jewel State. Yep. And her husband. Charlie Ritchie. And Jewel is Canadian. And I think Charlie is too. Are. Pretty sure. Anyway. Anyway. So Tony found out about them, and when I was talking about possibly getting another subscription box, he's like. Why are you trying team runners? Because we both drink a lot of tea. Mm -hmm. Also, this box is really nice. It is a very nice design. It's very pretty. It's got compasses and boats and a sun with a face. And it's a lot of a lot of writing that looks like old timey piratey writing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, great. Let's see the tea. Alright. Next sheet. So you got the tea. original box? Is that what that sticker's telling us? Uh the the sticker does say original. So the original box is has four di different types of tea, so you can get different boxes. You can get all black tea, all green tea, all herbal tea, or premium tea. Mm. So this is one of each. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, and the nice thing about this subscription is that if one month you're like, I want all herbal tea this month, this is killing me. Um, you can just change it? Yeah, you can change it whenever you want as long as... You give notice. Okay, okay. Um, this is a coupon with 15% off of their tea wear in store. Unfortunately, it, their shipping is $15 plus um, import fee because all their tea wear comes from the States. When I was making my purchase for the subscription box, it's like, add our perfect teapot. And I was like, sounds like a good idea. And it's like, Ships to Canada for $15. I'm oh. like, the teapot is only $20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you can shop on their American website or their Canadian website because they have both. Oh, interesting. You didn't know to see that? No. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that when I was looking that they had a Canadian store specifically. But I don't know if that has all the same, the same stuff on it. I have no idea. So that's something that we can look at later. Um, let's see what we got. All right, so first we have orange jasmine blossom. Sounds great. Lots of tea, lots of loose leaf tea. Uh, we're gonna have to buy some. Some more of the steepers. Yeah, but we like have two. It, they're also really tiny and they're heart shaped, so they're really awkward of putting tea in. Yep. And tea with these this big is gonna be very difficult. So yes, we're going to have to make an investment. Okay. Um, this is plastic packaging. It's nicely done. It, it, it's very pretty. Yeah. It's got like the map and <clears throat> on the side anchors because mm -hmm. he's got a, an anchor tattoo. I do. Yeah, so it's uh, just a gold pattern. It's very, it's very aesthetically pleasing. And it's cool. They, they tell you, um, okay, after I signed up, they send an email telling you how to steep your teas. The steeping Because they are different. So there's actually how to steep on... The front. So, for example, the orange jasmine blossom requires. Can you I look at it? No. <laughs> Eighty-five degrees Celsius um, temperature water, one teaspoon per eight ounces, and three minutes to steep. And you can re-steep one to two times. 
and each time you do that, you add 30 seconds. Whereas this one, in comparison, is 93 degrees Celsius. This is the black gold diluotion. Oh boy. Um, one teaspoon, teaspoon per eight ounce as well, but three to four minutes to steep, and you can re-steep one to two times, 30 seconds extra each time. So they, these two teas require different temperatures. They steep for different times. Smell proof, um, unfortunately. Oh yeah, this is low medium caffeine. This is medium to high caffeine. So depending how much it's, I love information. I love details. I love. If you, if you couldn't tell. I read my blog. Sometimes I have to go back and delete a lot. Look how cool this is. Interesting. It's like all swirly. Yeah. Hmm. This is from Yunnan, China. Oh, that's um. I don't know if this will show up at all, and I still don't have a monitor, but there, effort. Maybe you'll see it, maybe you won't, but it's all swirled and nice. Oh, it tells you what's in it. Uh, this, the orange jasmine blossom has orange blossom, lemongrass, rose petals, lime, and tangerine. Mm. So no orange blossoms? I said, that was the first thing I said was orange blossom. Oh, I wasn't listening, clearly. <laughs> all I heard was lime and tangerine for citrus, I was like... So no oranges. I mean, I guess an orange blossom is not a, a citrus, but uh, the for the black gold. How do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce that? Uh, below chun. I think the first U is silent. Okay. Ooh, these little pellets benefit from short-term aging to make a smooth but sturdy cup that waken the senses and boost energy levels. While the palate is left with hints of chocolate and flowers. Mm. Sounds amazing. We should do a follow-up video of trying these. Yeah. Enjoy multiple steeps. That's one thing that they said in the guide is that some tea can be steeped multiple times. And what we do, what I do uh, with tea is I, I've been leaving the thing in with the, the tea. The tea bag. But they say not to do that. Not just the tea bag, but like the actual steeper, like with the, the loose leaf. When I do loose leaf tea, I just leave it in. They say don't do that. Take it out. And for some teas, you can use them again. But not if you leave it in, which you're not supposed to do. Okay. Next up is Valerian Dream. Ooh. Ooh, this is a hot tea. Uh, ooh, it's got strawberries. Spearmint, natural rose extract, rose petals, essential orange oil, cardamom, fennel. Ugh, licorice <laughs> Not a licorice fan. Rose. What's Valerian? Um, I didn't know it was a plant. I don't know what Valerian is. I thought it was something to do with Game of Thrones. <laughs> but probably that's not what they're referring to. Probably not. This one is caffeine free, requires 100 degrees Celsius and five minutes of steeping. It says it's a masterful blend of exotic spices and fruit from all over the world. This is a calming tea with Nervine. You're studying to be an RMT. Nervine? Nervine? Mm. We Nervine. Use, we don't use that word. <laughs> um, tonic herbs like cardamom and fennel to aid relax. To aid relax the body and mind. Proofreading. I'm bad at it too. Um, Valerian root has been used by Europeans for centuries as a bedtime tea. Unwind with this caffeine-free delectable treat. Sweet dreams. No, nice. My, no, my favorite caffeine-free tea. You know. The vanilla? Yes. Mm. Hazelnut vanilla something. I wouldn't miss hazelnut. Isn't it? No, it's like vanilla nut. Vanilla nut. So it could be a hazelnut. Could be. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Anyway, this is what this looks like. You can see that? Probably not. Oh, I didn't look at that. Mmm. Looks like powder. Mostly brown. With red and green. Oh yeah, you can see the cardamom seeds and the fennel seeds. Nice. Oh, fine. Do you want to do this one? Raspberry green tea. Bright and lively steamed green tea gets a pungent punch from juicy raspberry, making this one equally delicious hot or iced. I can see being a good iced tea. Tart hibiscus rounds out its sweetness with a welcome citrusy bite. Great on its own or with a squeeze of lemon. That sounds great. Or for an especially refreshing treat, try it with a splash of pomegranate juice over ice. Sounds delicious. I want to try all those things. The ingredients are green tea, raspberry, hibiscus flowers, and natural, ooh, ooh yeah. Wow, that is pretty. <laughs> natural raspberry flavor. This is the prettiest tea by far. Yeah. It's, uh, it's got a very deep red 
and very uh, dark green. It looks nice. I guess mm -hmm. the green is the green tea, and then everything else is the the raspberry and hibiscus flowers. I love hibiscus. So, I'll show you the teas, because it's probably more interesting to look at the actual teas and the, the fronts for you. This is what we got. Uh, any more information about it? No. No? Okay. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for us to review these teas uh, another day.